Crate Brothers Farmstead Cheese is a family farm. Bump into any of the four founding brothers and they'll tell you they're the best or smartest one. But no matter who takes the top spot, Charles, George, Thomas, and Mark Crave have collectively built a business the entire dairy industry wants to emulate. Both their Wisconsin dairy farm and cheese factory run entirely on renewable energy. We're always trying to do uh, more with less, right? We're, it's just kind of how we grew up, um, waste not, want not. The old saying even applies to cow manure. In fact, it's the source behind the farm's power. Cow manure releases a greenhouse gas called methane. It hurts our atmosphere, but it can be captured thanks to anaerobic digesters, or in other words, massive tanks that store manure, capture its methane, and burn it to produce electricity. This electricity is all put back on the grid, and uh, but it would offset the electricity we consume, our cheese factory, and probably be, be enough extra for about 300 typical Wisconsin homes. So literally, I mean, you are running operations here and able to generate power, and you're offsetting exactly what you're using. We're offsetting about 50% more than we actually use. The digester's work doesn't stop there. So these are separators that are taking the liquid manure and they're squeezing the, the dry fiber out of it. This fiber is thrown into a giant dryer also powered by the digester, then dropped into this pile. So right now, carrying this in my hands, this is manure. This is a product of cow manure. It has very little scent. It's pretty dry, a little moisture, but it's been completely recycled, reused, so that this can go back to the cows as bedding. It's incredible to see the process of how this became to be, but uh, never thought I'd say that I would have cow manure <laughs> in my hands. Nutrient-rich liquid left over is stored in a lagoon and later used to fertilize crops for the cows. The process comes full circle, but it's not easy to get up and running. What we've seen today is an absolute success story, but what you see can't necessarily be replicated on other farms or ranches. You need two main things, lots of money and plenty of manure. The Crave family says selling their electricity isn't lucrative. Instead, the return on investment comes in the form of just knowing they're doing the right thing. There are other environmentally sustainable methods the brothers use with fewer roadblocks. We have, we have 1,200 acres of cover crops planted right now in the middle of October that are gonna be, that are green, and some of what you can see out there right now, and they're gonna be green, they're gonna be cover until next spring and some even beyond. Cover crops help keep greenhouse gases in the ground. Plus, we feed over 10,000 tons a year of co-product feeds that would otherwise end up probably in a landfill. Cows eat leftover food waste, like grain, leftover from brewing beer. We feed four loads a week of this. Wow. Yep. And otherwise, this would have been in a landfill. Yeah, it's somewhere. And wet corn gluten feed. So you know how when you eat yeah. corn on the cob yeah. and the, the kind of the, the, yeah. the stuff that's left on the cob? That's yeah, what that right stuff here. looks like. These ingredients are mixed according to a nutritionist's specific meal plan. And their 3,600 cows love it. It's a sustainability success. All four founding brothers and the rest of the family can stand behind. Lauren Magarino, Newsy.